There's a lot going on in and around Omaha. There's one great place to keep track of it all, Metro Quarterly. The November issue is out and it kicks off 25 years. Publisher Andy Hoig is here to give us an inside look. Good to see you. Hi, Bub. hi. How are you? Hey, this is cool. Looks good. 25 Thanks. years. Congratulations. Huh? Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, this really kicks off the, the year, which will go through the end of 2016, mm -hmm. but we started off with this issue. Looking back 25 years, you remember that first oh my uh, gosh. magazine cover? I do, and at that time it was a black and white newspaper. So oh, that's um, right. times have changed. Yes, yeah. they that's have the changed. Point of they it. have. So how are you celebrating throughout throughout the year, starting with this issue? So one of the things we decided to do. So starting the, it, this issue, we are spotlighting five VIPs, and uh -huh. what that is is very inspirational people. Like that. Um, so we'll do five for the next five issues, mm -hmm. equaling 25. Um, but yeah, it, it was great. And what we'll be doing starting in December is we will actually ask the community to nominate. Mm -hmm. um, somebody that's very inspirational to them and we'll go through a process and hopefully get some of those great people in the mix over the next um, 14 yeah. months, 12 14, months. Yeah, 12 yeah. months, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, <laughs> so the, the inspiration theme continues because you wrote a letter that says I I'm did. inspired. You know, I did. So my letter this month, the publisher's letter, is just about, you know what, it, whenever you kind of celebrate a milestone, it causes you to really just look over, you know, the span of, of what that is. So the last 25 years, there's just so much inspiration, and I'm so blessed. So many inspiring people in this community mm -hmm. that, I've, that have crossed my path. Mm -hmm. So here we start. Um, here's our, our spread with Dave Spence, and he, um, great guy, started the Cancer Fund. I know you guys are familiar with um, TAG, Leslie Fisher and yeah. Holly mm -hmm. Baker, together greater, to, together a greater good. Jason Gilbreth, Reclaimed Enterprises. Um, Laura, she was on the show with me before with um, Nebraska Wildlife yeah. Rehab. Mm -hmm. And we end with, with Scott Moore, and mm -hmm. I know we were just talking about him, mm -hmm. um, raises millions of dollars for nonprofits and does that and just and does Volunteers that. Volunteers his yeah. time. It's just because he's good. Yeah. You know, like yeah. for, for well, him to use the gift of, he's an auctioneer. Yeah, and so you go to a lot of these fundraising events, and Mary and I MC a lot of these, and we yes. see Scott mm -hmm. Moore there, and these live auctions that they have, they need a good auctioneer. It, Absolutely. Because it gets more money from people who are out there bidding. Yeah. And he's very good and talented at that, and he doesn't he doesn't charge those nonprofits to do no, that. No, he awesome. he does that, so it's, it's just amazing. Without him, it, it's kind of that changes the, the landscape it of does. what's happened. Yeah. So. It does. Um, yeah. Um, so we've got all of that, and then on page 38, he said, she said, yes. we continue this uh, yeah. theme of inspiration. So who did you write about in this issue, Mike? Uh, Maynard Ferguson. And you know who Maynard, Maynard Ferguson is? He's a the, famous jazz trumpeter. Musician. Yeah, when I was young, you know, I'm a trumpet player, and when I was young, I wanted to, to be better yeah. than him. Um, yes. <laughs> I never achieved that goal, but it led me down the path of, you know, working hard and trying to improve yourself and being yeah. better. And so I talk about that story and, and how um, he's my VIP. What did you mm -hmm. write about? I wrote about Sheila Mason. She was, um, she hired me for an internship when I was in college and, she, it, you know, you, those unintended consequences, right? That's sort of what she would talk about. Right. I was like this young know-it-all and she w would encourage me to always look for the, the unexpected, look for the gray yeah. area, really dig into things instead of coming to a situation and, and thinking that you already get it, right. to open up your mind a little bit. And then when she felt like my mind was too open, then she would challenge me even right. in that direct, I mean, it was, she, she changed my life. And so the, when I first wrote this piece about Sheila, it was uh, twice as long as what you could fit inside the magazine. And I thought, where do I cut this story? Because she was just so meaningful I to like me. I like how you so. said you were a young know-it-all. Yeah, now I'm just an old know-it-all. <laughs> now you're just a know-it-all. Uh, switching gears a little bit, voting is in full swing, right? It what is are we in full on swing. This week? So, you know, we announced this when we were on last time, but the 12 finalists for the Big Connection, um, these these 12 nonprofits are in the running for uh -huh. the $10,000 Big Connection with this $5,000 cash and $5,000 of marketing and promotion, which is basically an editorial, a huge editorial feature. Um, so there, we're voting. We're voting. Here's the page. We're voting through uh -huh. the 11th of December. Um, voting counts for 50%, and what we're asking the nonprofits this year to do, just to create a more um, level playing field with everybody, because you know you've got the big ones and you've got small ones, there's all kinds of nonprofits. We're asking them to write an essay about um, you know, what their organization is about and the event they were nominated for. So, so that's going to be fun to read mm -hmm. through those. 101 Things to Love. We've been going through this series, all of your giveaways connecting back to that list. Yes. So what are we talking about this visit? So this visit we're giving away the Durham Museum, mm -hmm. two family passes. And the reason, you know, I picked this time because in two weeks, 
um, a little less than or a little over two weeks on Friday, right after Thanksgiving, they're going to do their big tree yeah. lighting. So I wanted to to give a couple family passes away, Good call. Um, along with there's two there they can get two sweet treats, um, which allows them to go like get a get something at the soda fountain. Uh -huh. mm. So keyword Durham. Uh, Friday, November 20th is the date to to enter, and then we will get those right out in the mail. So if the families want to, you know, kind of celebrate mm -hmm. that tree lighting or whatnot, we'll have them in their hands before that. We have less than a minute, and yeah. we didn't get to your top That's five. Top five? Can you do top five? I'll do zoom, top five real, real quick. Like quick. names, dates, names, 20 seconds. dates. Um, Hops and Grapes Fall Festival Partnership for Kids, Jocelyn Castle Literacy Center. Um, Jocelyn Castle, and the dates are up there. Mm -hmm. um, sell, sell the Farm, farm Zarbin Foundation, Avenue Scholars Foundation, um, Wine Tasting, and then Sentimental Journey at the Durham Museum, uh, where they, where I will be at, where we'll see the tree lighting yeah, that evening. Those are all coming up this month. They the are, month and they're November. all on the website. So as I okay. blasted through those, um, go to the website and check them out. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Cool. We're inspired you, by you, Andy Boyg. Great to have you here, and we'll see you yeah. again. Congratulations, 25 yep. years. Thank you I so much. Uh, next.